Penn State getting set to take on the Kentucky Wildcats January 1st in the Citrus Bowl, which can be seen on ABC as we visit with senior quarterback Trace McSorley. And Trace, how much are you just looking forward to finally getting back out there after that Maryland game, which seems like forever ago and competing again? Uh, I'm really looking forward just to getting back out on the field and, like you said, just being able to go back out there and compete. Uh, you know, we've had a bunch of practices where we're going, you know, offense versus defense, and it's like we're back in camp again. You get that same sort of feeling where you just can't wait to go out and play another team. So uh, looking forward to being down in Orlando and, and getting back into the competition. What's unique about this Kentucky team? I think what's unique about them is they got a lot of athletes and they play with a chip on their shoulder and they play aggressive. And I think when you're looking at their defense, that's something that it creates a lot of issues for an offense uh, when you are playing a team like that. Um, it, it's a big challenge for us um, and I think it's something that People don't necessarily realize the talent and how good Kentucky really is outside of, you know, say everyone else that's, you know, in college football and, you know, watching the film and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, Kentucky's a really tough team and it's going to be a big challenge for us. Josh Allen, it's not a secret how elusive he is. He seems like he's collected every defensive award possible around the yeah. country. But how much are you looking forward for that challenge? Specifically, I would say, hoping to go off a couple of big plays against him. Yeah, you know, he's a great player and you know all the awards he's gotten this year, all well deserved, obviously. And um, he's just done a really good job, I think, this year, uh, just creating a lot of havoc and he flies around the field. He seems like he's making almost every tackle and you know he, he gets around you know tackles and he, he makes you know sacks in the backfield and he's creating havoc in, in the pass game but then in the run game he's chasing guys down and you know making tackles on the other side of the field so he's like I said he flies around he's a great player strong physical athletic um, he's got long arms and it's, it's a big challenge for us but like you said I think it's a, it's an exciting challenge that you know I know our guys up front are really looking forward to it and you know personally I think uh, I trust those guys and I'm looking forward to it as well. National Signing Day coming up. Obviously, you had your National Signing Day experience. And looking back on that, kind of take us through that day and uh, what people are going to experience come December 19th. Back when I was doing signing day, there was only one signing day. There was no early signing and all that kind of stuff. So, um, But it, it was an awesome time, um, especially the time you're able to share with your family. Um, you know, you're in high school, you've put in so much work to be able to get to the next level. and. Every, you've been stressing about it. A lot of kids are out there. They're not knowing what's going to happen until that day. It's a great moment to be able to celebrate all the hard work that you've done um, and kind of be able to just have a huge weight off your shoulders and know what your future is going to look like. And I think for a lot of these guys, they're going to experience that. It's a tremendous milestone for a lot of them and for them just to be able to sign their name on that paper um, and then be able to celebrate with you know their teammates, coaches, families. It's, it's a great day. Appreciate your time once again. January 1st, Penn State versus Kentucky.